Cormac McCarthy fans, S. Craig Zelder, the director of Bone Tomahawk, hates Blood Meridian. And today we are going to be hearing from Zeller on why he hates Blood Meridian and then talking about it. So let's hear from Zeller himself. Quote, someone had recommended to me Blood Meridian, the Cormac McCarthy book, which I didn't like. I know this is a cherished treasure and all that sort of, st of stuff. And I read it and it was the same thing. This is lacking heart and characterization. If you like his prose style, it's probably an, an, an enjoyable reading experience. I can't stand his prose. And I just thought it was a travelogue of violence. So S. Craig Zeller is actually another Western author. And he has a book called Race of a Broken Land. And it is actually a good book. I would give it a four out of five stars. If you like all the violence and blood meridian and hate all the prose and all the wonkiness, and you just want a pulpy, pulpy, violent Western, then Race of a Broken Land is absolutely something you need to read. But beyond that, Craig Zeller's directing ability and his writing ability falls flat because he is not here, everyone. And what do I mean by here? I mean, in the Southwest, in the fields, because S. Craig Zeller was born in Miami and then moved to New York City for film school. And he's lived in New York City since. And I know there are Cormac McCarthy fans out there. Shout out Shane from Cinema Martyr who live in New York City. But it's not New York City that's the problem. It's the mentality surrounding it. That Zeller thinks that Blood Meridian needs heart and characterization to make it this very appealable novel. But that's absolutely not the point. The lack of characterization, the lack of heart is what makes it scary. In S. Craig Zeller's books, there, you know, there's there are rescue scenes and love affairs and all that, you know, these ideas of family and revenge. You don't need that in a Western. That is a very cheap way to make a Western work, let me tell you. And S. Craig Zeller realizes this, that if you go back and look at all the successful Westerns, they really have lost the formula formula lately. And if you formulaically add those elements in and make them better and aren't scared of violence and whatnot, then you will be appealable to a 2023 audience. And that is very true. But I don't care about all the drones out there, all the random sleepers out there who just want a bloody pulpy film with a ton of characterization, especially when it comes to literature, because Race of the Broken Land is an airplane read. Blood Meridian is a very complex novel that can make you question not just life, but your own life and human nature and all these different aspects of reality. And I think, first of all, that Zeller says this and he doesn't like the book and he doesn't like his pro style because he knows that he will never be able to write like this because I feel like uh, S. Craig Zeller is an, a very advanced MFA student when it comes to his pro style. He's like an upgraded James Franco. He can actually direct and he can actually write pretty well, but he's not great at it. And he knows that he's going to have to quit Kung Fu class and quit having to hang around Manhattan if he's going to go deep into Westerns. You can't really be revolutionary in the Western genre if you're not living in the West. I know this is mind-blowing, and I might be gatekeeping here, but I'm, I'm talking about two different points here. One is the pros. To write like Cormac McCarthy, you have to be talented, and you have to work for decades. By the time McCarthy wrote Blood Meridian, he had been grinding for 20-something years all day, every day, to become a better writer. Plus, he was out camping, riding horseback, and traveling to all these different places, talking to locals, and understanding the general geography and feeling of the area. You can't just come here with your film crew, scope out some spots, and then come with everybody else and film a movie and think you're going to capture the feel. And that's one of my problems with Bone Tomahawk. I love the violence. I think it's a good movie. The characterization is there, but it's missing that magical it factor. And some, if you're a good enough director, you can transcend that. You can write about places that you don't know about, but you have to be very good to be able to pull it off. And his comments about characterization show that he's looking, and, and the way he writes his books and directs his movies, is that he cares about the entertainment aspect, which is very important. That Westerns like Blood Meridian and probably a lot of the ones that he's talking about that are very prose heavy and stuff, kind of moved away from that. And that's why it's failed in Hollywood. But as I talked about yesterday, action heavy work, entertainment focused work, is because you can't transcend content and move into meaning and form. Cormac McCarthy just doesn't have characterization. In Blood Meridian, there isn't even a plot, everyone. There is no plot and no characterization, and it's one of the greatest books of all time. That takes a deep level of mastery to be able to do. And this, it's a fun idea to be able to, you know, shit on Blood Meridian because, like, it's the one that the lip rolls hold so close. And as the upgraded James Franco Renaissancean man, I write scripts, I direct movies, I write books, I compose the scores, I write comics, I love metal music. Like, he's trying to be this Renaissancean man, but you shouldn't 
be tearing down the people who focused on one thing and are just way better than you. Be the renaissance man. That's great. But sitting here and saying that his pro style isn't good is absolutely insane. Him acting like the judge as a character is wor is not as good of a character than anything he's ever written is insane. And I know S. Craig Zeller is actually on YouTube all the time. So if you see this video, Mr. Zeller, I would love for you to come on here and talk to me about why I'm wrong and why Blood Meridian sucks. What are your guys' thoughts? Why do you think he hates the novel according to that statement? I know we have very little information, but a lot of us Western fans out there have probably read his book and seen the movie. And it's just surprising that he's not a fan. But like I said, that's what we should expect from some random film student in NYC.